that was, you know, pretty quickly on in, in, in 2013, 2014, right? My role became that, that defensive stopper. Um, and, and, you know, no easy buckets. Um, he, he, you know, went up for that, went up for that dunk and, and I'm not going to let him, I'm not going to let him do that. You know, again, I don't remember if the game was won or not. I think it may, I think it may have been, he might've been showboating a little bit, but especially on our home floor and knowing that we're going to play them or we have a chance to play them again, that that's not going to, that's not going to go. I think Bryce probably could have willed him, himself. He could have won that game. Like between him and Kadeem, these guys were, they would have done anything it was just a culmination of all the work they'd put in. And then, yeah, ultimately double overtime game. When he hit that shot, I remember almost crying thinking, is this how my career is going to like, are we going to, my last year, last game is going to be on a three quarter court buzzer beater. Um, but yeah, that, that, I mean, that kind of spiraled us into the tournament play too. Cause we knew, Hey, this is what every single game from here on out, people are going to be battling for their tournament. And it's, we're seniors. This is like all we got. With the senior night, it was more about being so grateful for the opportunity to attend Providence college. So grateful. They took the chance on me and realizing how fast my four years went by. And to know, like, okay, this is a, this is my last time playing in this arena. Got to give it everything, you know, you have, and hopefully you come out with the win. But it just felt so good because I think after that game, I was able to kind of flash back and look at my whole journey uh, in my four years at that school. Cooley recalls it as one of the more emotional games that he's ever coached, and we chat with him about that. It's, it's, it's year three. You're trying to build your program. You know, you're building it for your city, you're building it for the state, your fan base, your students. You know, we felt some excitement coming behind it um, to beat a quality team like that in the fashion of which we did, you know, being down and then having to tie it up and, you know, get a jump ball. I, you, you know, it's something about playing at the Dunkin' Donuts Center. Something special is going to happen. I don't think you're ever out of a game at the Dunkin' Donuts Center. It's just something unique. It's something about the smell. It's something about the sideline, the sight line, the passion, the history. God is on our side a lot at the Dunkin' Donuts Center. And it was a great, great milestone to, you know, to have your first 20 win season in a while, to get the fans behind you, to let them know, well, maybe, maybe, maybe they can do a good job with our program. But Chris is just nonstop letting us have it about what Doug did to us that night and like, you know, he's always cracking jokes and all that. So that just kind of rings loud in my head of all the different jokes he was saying about Doug scoring 45 and, and the, <laughs> the different ways um, he was scoring his baskets. I'm like, we got to, you know, he's having one of those games guys. So when in our designs, you know, in timeouts and coming, you know, in our play calling, we wanted to try to get him as many open looks as we can because it was so much attention on Cotton, so much attention on Kadeem and, and LaDante. I mean, he just, I mean, he carried us. You know, if we don't have Josh on our roster, we're, we're not Biggie's champions. Probably his best game of the season, and it was at the right time. You know, he played terrific, shot the ball, amazing, and he just seemed so confident out there. And um, I think that's probably one of the biggest reasons why he was hitting all his shots because he wasn't really – over giving himself a chance to overthink he was just playing off his natural instincts and his feel for the game and I think probably the most underrated play of the season definitely the most underrated defensive play of the season Carson comes out of nowhere and he blocks either a dunk or a layup attempt uh, um you know LaDante uh just just hooping he you know he he willed us he willed us to a victory Hinton, top of the key. Oh, silencer. Defamation of character. LaDante. Oh, ring it up. East Lansing, Michigan, folks. And with their two defense, which is pure zone, don't leave him alone. Oh, cradle of happiness. LaDante Hinton is in the zone. He can feel it. The Flyers can feel it. The Pirates can feel 